Hello YouTube, this is Free Stuff Fall here, and this is how to speed up your computer and get higher FPS for free. LOL If you don't know much about computers, something I like to compare them to is a car. There's essential parts in a car that power it and keep it working. Same with a computer. And just like cars, they can also lose performance. From various things, some of which are viruses, malware, registry errors, outdated drivers, and many other things. Now, starting off with the simplest thing you can do. If you're playing a game, go into its graphical settings and lower them. But doing this can easily double your frame rate. It's best to keep your frame rate around 30 for most games, and first person shooters, it's best 50 to 60. Now you may already have your settings at the lowest, so here are some things you can do to speed up your PC. Now if you don't already have one, you may want to get an antivirus. Even if you only use it once and uninstall it, you could clear out viruses that are stealing your system's resources or even stealing your personal information. Pew. One way to think of that is you're removing weight, the viruses, from your car, the computer, which in turn will make your computer not be as bogged down and let it run faster. Now, malware and spyware can also do very similar and devastating things to your computer. I put links to my favorite free antivirus and anti-malware programs below, so if you want to speed up your PC and remove viruses, check those out. Next is cleaning your registry. Your computer's registry is kind of like a file cabinet where it keeps all sorts of data and settings for programs, and over time you can accumulate errors and unnecessary data from uninstalled programs and other things. Now going through and manually cleaning it can be very time consuming, and if you don't know what you're doing, you can leave your computer way worse than it was before you started. So I advise you go and get an automatic cleaner like the one in the link in the description and clean that out immediately. Something that could potentially boost performance greatly is updating your graphics card's drivers. The drivers are basically what tells your graphics card how to do its job. When your drivers were originally created, they most likely didn't optimize them for some of the newer programs or games that may have come out since they actually released these. So the updated drivers may actually increase performance on individual programs or overall. Now you may or may not actually have a graphics card that gets updated regularly or even at all. If you would like to see what graphics card you have, all you have to do is press start run and type in devmgmt.msc or go download a program like Specy or CPUID which are completely free and they will tell you plenty about your computer. Uh, the links to those are in the description below. Now over time some data in your hard drive can get fragmented, which is basically where files are stored inefficiently and there's plenty of defrag tools you can use to basically automatically correct this. You can also go to start run and type in dfrg.msc, but I recommend you go get one of the more up to date programs which are free, like the one in the link in the description. There are also some programs out there that can increase performance by temporarily shutting off unnecessary programs in your computer, thus freeing up system memory and lowering the load on your CPU. If you're interested in getting one of those, there's a free one available for download at the link in the description below. Last, if you've done all that and it's still not running fast enough, it could be possibly because of your parts that could be too old to run the game you want. Now, you can actually do something about it without replacing the parts, which is overclock. Basically, what overclocking does is it makes your computer's parts run faster than they normally would. But if done incorrectly or overclocked too much, you run the risk of wearing away your parts more quickly or actually even damaging them. I'll put up some links in the description below showing you tutorials how to overclock, but I advise you look into the subject quite a bit before attempting it. Even though it's generally safe to do a slight overclock, I'm not responsible for what you do to your own computer. Now if you did all of these and you're getting a great performance boost, please come back and tell me about it. Also if you're having any problems doing any of these, feel free to ask questions and I'll try and help. Thanks for watching and good luck getting your PC running fast. Free stuff all here, subscribe for more free stuff.